Okay, this is job one, report sheet one, and I'm going to do a short demonstration here um, <clears throat> so that the file won't be so large. So try to follow along with me as uh, much as possible, and you can replay it as many times as you want. So I've opened up the simulation manual so that we can follow along with the instructions. Here's the report sheet that's in Blackboard that you'll need to... Um, fill in once you complete everything. So the first thing we need to do is get our supplies out from our simulation packet. Here is, first of all you have your file box right here and just kind of just fold it like that, fold that in. Okay, you can leave these sides open. You're going to get your guides out of the supplies one envelope. You're going to get A, R, S, T, and U. And you're going to put them right in your box just like a filing cabinet. Okay? Then you're going to get Forms Pad 1 and 2, and you're going to tear out from for Forms Pad 1 18 cards. So just tear those out and then leave it alone. Forms Pad 2, tear out 7 cross reference sheets and then put that back. So then we're done with those. We'll put those back in our simulation packet. So <clears throat> it says to separate your cards 1 through 9 and 10 through 18. And then here's my cross reference sheets right here. So if you look on the card, <coughs> it already has a name. So what you need to do is you'll need to code it. So I'm going to underline Anderson, put my diagonal, put a 2. Anderson Richard is card one. Okay. Card two is a business name. So we're going to code it, underline it all, put your diagonals about you, all about you. Card three, Udi, U D E Y is the last name, Udi Lance. Jennifer Taylor Anderson is a cross-reference because this is a, um, remember, a married hyphenated name. So we're going to go ahead and put an X here. And once we do that, then we're also going to put it on the cross-reference sheet. So we're going to put Anderson, her married name, Jennifer Taylor, and to C, Taylor Anderson. Okay, so put this back in your cross-reference. And this again is number four. Number five, <clears throat> soda ink. Remember, no punctuation. Soda ink. Look under that, the acronym for stop on a dime assets. So it could be referenced by that name. So we'll need to put an X here as a cross, cross reference. Here is 5X, stop on a dime assets. C, soda ink. Okay? So that's just giving you an idea, and you're going to do this for all cards. Once you've got that done, then you're just going to go in here and alphabetize it. Okay, so the first one here, let's look at this one. Get your box. This is Anderson, so that's going to go behind the A. All About You goes behind A. And we've got... A N A L, so L comes before N. Stick it in there like that. This one here is U D E Y as the last name. So I'm going to go behind the U in your box, behind your guide. So I'm going to put it behind the U. Taylor Anderson, all one word. It's going to go behind the T's. That. The next one is soda ink. It's going to go by behind the S's. So find your S. There. The next one is Rustin Underwood. It goes behind the R's. So once you get all of these in here, then you're going to have to really go back and alphabetize them even further. Okay. So then when you get to your cross references, these are also going to go as well in these, you're going to first put them all, um, put all your cross references in front of the A's and just keep them there if you want to, or you can just leave them to the side. 
But for instance, <clears throat> 9x, just as an example here, 9x, because we um, cross-referenced it, it was, this was the last name. So we cross-referenced it because it's an unusual name. So now we've got a file that's under the A's, a mod. Okay, so if you go to the A, And there's going to be some more in here, but just file it in alphabetical order. We've got A H, all about U A L, Anderson A N, and so forth. So go ahead and code all your cards, following your rules, making sure that you underline the key unit, put your diagonals two and three, write it up here. If it's a cross reference, put an X. And if it is, then you make a cross-reference for 4x, and then you write it up here the way that you would cross-reference it. And then put C, the original, okay? So this all has to be filed in alphabetical order. Once you've done that, then you want to come here to your report sheet. And under the A's, you're going to look right behind the A, what's the first card you see, and that's the number that you put there, okay? I can tell you that once you complete everything, 17 will go here. 9X will be the next one. 2 will be the next one. And so forth. And there's my cat. Okay, so hopefully this will help you, and if you have any questions, send me an email.